mean, I set some records, but I'm, I'm here now, so I like this level. What's up, y'all? Welcome to The Real. I'm your host, Kenny Beecham, and we sit here and we talk about highlights with some of the biggest stars in the world. Today, we're in Atlanta, Georgia at the State Farm Arena with Quavo, man. Welcome yes, to the Yes, sir, show. man. What's happening? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Most people wonder how you fit everything into a schedule because you got music, you've been doing some acting, you've been doing a lot of different stuff. So how you get everything in the schedule? Just like to stay active. Um, I really don't have a schedule. I just, on the go, whatever I see, I just want to put my hands in and want to get into it. Um, I, I feel like I, I can do a lot of things. I'm talented, so I just want to let the world see. So let's get into some of that talent, man. We're kicking it back to your high school days. Okay. Right, we got some football. <laughs> tell, me, tell me what's going on in these. Oh, that's oh, that's young, that's young Huncho Vic right there. <laughs> Left hand, couple juke moves, uh, making about four people miss. I see you rocking the number seven. That's uh -huh, what you did. What I'm saying, okay, making two people run into each other. Did you play high school football your entire four years? Uh, yeah, I did. Always a quarterback? No, nah, I played receiver. I, I moved my position at like a junior in high school. Okay. When I was a junior. Word, word. They moved it because all the quarterbacks was getting in trouble. You stayed out of that trouble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there's a few things here that went past right there. People say that the quarterback is like the hardest position to play and not just football. We're talking but all across the major sports. Would you yeah. think that's, that's true? Yeah, he the hunter of the field. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And to be the hunter, you got to be the quarterback. That's pure accuracy right there. We call that the bucket drill. Okay. And every day we used to um, Throw, throw footballs in the bucket in the back pylon in the back corner every day at the practice, so I got good at that. What was your most memorable moment of high school football? My first my first play of the game, I scored a touchdown, and then I was a starter ever since. Right. Like, very first snap, first play. Got the coach's trust. Okay. For sure. You think you could have made it at the college level? Because, I mean, you had some records here, right? I mean, I set some records, but I'm, I'm here now, so I like this level. I feel that. I feel that. So, you're in Madden. I turned on the PlayStation and people can play with the Migos. Yeah. So how does it feel to get put in there? Oh, that's Superstar KO, man. Yeah. Madden is a big thing. We grew up playing Madden. It's like a tradition in our crib. So it's it's a blessing to be on Madden. Word. You like you really like Michael Vick. What is it? Offset as a yeah, running offset back? Offset the running back. I think takeoff. What? Line, I think three play defense. No, takeoff is a wide receiver. You oh, like running off the. I haven't played with. I've been trying to play with us the last three days since I've been home, but I can't find it. I yeah. guess it's a certain day that you got to play. I reset it. If I don't get all three, I'm not playing. That's, that's how tough the players are. But you're also in 2K. Yeah. Right, so Shady put together this little mixtape for you okay. a couple years ago. Have you seen it? Yeah, I remember that. Um, and you also got scanned into the game. Yep. So you big into the gaming world too? Yeah, shout out to Running 2K. Um, they put us in the game. I mean, well, put me in the game. Offset scanned in it too. It's fun, bro. I don't, like, it's something we love to do. We've been doing that since we was kids. Everybody know how to. 2K feeling is we run to the store, make sure we get it, call run in, cuss them out about our badges and everything. So <laughs> it's just, it's, it's life. Y'all got the logo? The so show. People know what the Migos at the yeah, park? Yeah, you got the star. So when you see me on the, on the park with the star on the head, just pull up on me. Right. Get this smoke. What you on Xbox, PlayStation? I'm on PS, PS4. Okay. I don't want to say my gamer tag because it's flooded. I already got too many friends right now. I know. <laughs> I know. Ronnie ain't give me my logo just yet, but. Maybe me send down Quavo can get my name up there a little yeah, bit. Yeah, get my man's logo removed. <laughs> you know I'll be in your line. Back, <laughs> back, back. Bet. So we know that you're attached to football because you play football, but it seems like you're probably more attached to basketball than the NBA. You think that's true? Uh, it's just sports in general. I play baseball. I'm just a strong athlete, man. If I if I can get out there and do some golfing, you'll catch me out there and <laughs> golf, of course. So um, it's, it's, it's even. Yeah. Let's, let's play the run here. I want you to break down. This is an open gym. I think we got Sharif. Oh, yeah, there that's too. me, Sharif, real. I think Bo was there that day. I killed him that day. That was like two years ago. This is like one of the first times footage of you playing basketball popped up on the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's I'm reading a, yeah, through the Yeah, Josh, comments. Josh Christopher, they were some babies then. <laughs> them boys, some seniors in, in college now. Yeah, they hoping. When you walk into a gym like this, do you think the target is on your back? It's like, man, that's Quavo. I gotta cross them up. I gotta yeah. do this or that. Hell yeah. They had it, they they was gonna be deep this this year at the uh <laughs> celebrity game. They were running traps and everything on. But it's all good, it's fun, I like it. So when you were growing up hooping, who were you uh making your game out to be like? Uh I really like the Tracy McGrady game, the way he like staggered his legs. 
was kind of like an off balance shooter, but I was left handed. So. Right. The Hezzy nasty. The Hezzy yeah, nasty. my Hezzy, man. Yeah, get yeah, it to him. If, if I were to compare you to somebody based on the clips I've seen, you remind me of like Manu. You know, you left hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I, you did a couple of Euro steps in the yeah, celebrity yeah. games. You see the vision. You got it off. Yeah. You got it off. You think there's an NBA player that you can can really get down with in the NBA? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to crank these summer runs right this summer with Chris Brickley. You mentioned Brickley. So we got some runs here. This one went super viral. It's yeah. you, JB, who else in there? Uh, uh, Drake, Drake was there. Yeah, we killed him this game. Shaq West. Shaq West? He was just so star studded that. Yeah, it was a good game. Everybody, you know? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I was up, we up two to one right now in that series. We played three games. How Team Huncho up two to one. How does this stuff get going? I know it is Chris Brickley. What do you call him? He called you. Uh, Chris hit me. I hit, I hit Drake. I hit Beaver. And then I hit Shaq. We just all pulled up. But I, I went to the, we was at rehearsals for uh, SNL for Intentions with Justin Bieber. And um, yeah, so we just was all out there and just called each other and said, let's hoop. There's a little crowd there. Is it, I know it's a closed gym. How do people get in to just watch this run? Because we talked to Trey. You can't get in. Run. You got to have special cameras, special, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a real private run. Real that man with a camera right there, I guarantee you, he got a body cam on. We didn't even know it. So we got to play a game. Rate that jump shot, one to 10. I'm gonna give you some rappers, and I want you to be honest. Don't just cut us some slack because they're your homies. All right, it. so the first one, we got Travis Scott. This is a game, I think this is- That's an old, that's an old. He's working on this forum, though. Let me speak for my boy, you know what I mean? Okay. He's he been doing all right. But that's, I mean, this, this forum is messed up. <laughs> so I rate this as negative, negative. He hit it, though. It did go in. I mean, I didn't see the full clip. This only thing we got. He could have been one for 10, but this one went in. We move on to the next one. Oh, man, Khaled. Oh, my God, Khaled. No, Khaled. No, Khaled. Oh, my God, Khaled. See, I, <laughs> that right there broke the scale. That jump shot, that's a miss right there. So the next one, we got J. Cole. Now, J. Cole's one of those players that he plays in college ball. Yep. Have you played with him just yet? No, I ain't played with him. Okay. He look pretty straight. It's a good shot. He got his shit together. He's uh, most definitely a, a, a eight. You know what I'm saying? We'll give him an eight. Okay. What we Cause, he out, Cause he out there with the players. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He ain't really out there. Next one, we got Drake. We mentioned earlier that you were in the runs with him. And it seems like Drake's transformation as a hooper has really been out there. He's got this full slow motion, what we call a 4K cam. What are we rating it? So I rate that as like a, uh, we'll give him a five. A five, five we'll wide open? We'll give him a six, because he's a six guy. 2018 Celebrity Game. We got some highlights, because this is your MVP moment. Walk me through everything you see here. Because that Euro step is nasty, though. I don't know, just, oh, he was, he was talking so much. He was talking so much to me that before the game, at the game, prior to the game, I think he a boxer, so he was on some aggressive shit, so I had to like really like, I really had to give him that that boxing mentality right there. Right, right. That box. What was your preparation for this game? Because this is your first time like on national TV hooping. I was uh, getting houses with hoops with and just going out, going out, making sure my jump shot and my legs and stuff was was A1. And then like I was hooping with Sharif and Bo, and I was doing a lot more hooping than I did now. But you did end up getting the MVP. And then you fast forward into 2020, yeah. walk me through what you're seeing here. That was right. I was just letting him know I'm the next rapper up. You know what I'm saying? That was letting him know, pass the torch. Right. You feel me? You, I was letting him know, uh, you can't get that. You feel me? Do you think there's something that can be fixed about the celebrity game? I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but obviously everything can be better. Uh, it's fun. Just put some good hoopers in there so we can like really compete. Right. This game was basically about me and Famous Los, and me and him was kind of like ready to see another show like put together with us. So hopefully they'll get it right. But who knows when the show may come back. I feel that. I feel that. You got so many hoopers or so many rappers that you hoop with. Why don't you try to convince them to hop in the game with you? Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, I reached out to them. I think that's a, that's a thing with the NBA. Mm, I feel that. So in this game, you're rocking some some Kobe tribute shoes. Can you tell me what Kobe meant to you? 
Uh, most definitely, big brother. We looked up to him. Um, we from the north side, so we ain't really have like father figures. So we looked up to like athletes and you know what I'm saying, guys that's, that 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 meant something that culturally and that, that changed the style and changed the shape. I feel like um, he was a role model, and everything him him and like Bron and Iverson did, we tried to like really like bring it to our world and walk around and wear the jerseys and walk around and do the swag and do the hat, do the sleeves, do the fro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was just something we looked to as a trendsetter. You got your homie Trey Young. You gave him the nickname Ice Trey. It's probably the best nickname in the entire league. For sure. But you also gifted him this piece. Yep. Uh, it was just a welcome to Atlanta piece. That's when he was a rookie. And he was uh, feeling some type of way when he got snubbed for that rookie year. Right. Rookie of the year. So I had. Gave him his own trophy. He did. That's it. If would you be a fan of his if he wasn't in Atlanta, or is it because he plays for the Hawks and he's like the best player, All Star, and all of that? I'm here for the A, and as long as he in the A, that's my boy Trey. But if he goes somewhere, that's my friend. You know what I'm saying? We built a relationship to where it's it's beyond basketball. So that's my guy. We shot one of these episodes with Trey on a few weeks ago, and he said you're the best rapper turned ball player. So my question to you is, who's the best ball player turned rapper? Who you think is the best? If you heard any. Uh, I got to say Kobe. Okay. I got to say Kobe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He the first basketball slash rapper that we don't have, so. How much does the city mean to you? Uh, I just represent Georgia. I represent the whole state. Mm -hmm. um, I was born in, like I said, I was born in Athens. And we came to Gwinnett when I was uh, probably in middle school. So I feel like I'm, I'm bringing the best of I'm bringing both worlds to, to to the city. And then the city embraced us, and we made our careers and made our music in the city and met our best friends and met the people that helped, you know what I'm saying, our career out in the city. So it's like we represent the whole state of Georgia, and now we just putting it on our shoulders. You ever think about getting to the business side of sports, like owning a team or something like that? Hopefully once. Once we get this bread going all the way through the roof. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching this episode of The Real. Shout out to Quavo and the entire gang for coming through. We out.